Western State men's basketball coach Nelson Haggerty. And Hag, a nice win, uh, not a close win for this time. Uh, you know, pull it out by 24 over Incarnate Word. Yeah, it was a big time win. I thought we really played well the second half. I mean, for the majority of the game, I thought we, we played well. We, we started out well. I feel like we guarded and, and paid attention to detail really well. Our help defense was, was phenomenal, I thought. We cut off driving lanes, made them pitch the ball out, and then we got out to, to shooters and, for the most part, really did a good job of keeping them out of the lane. Uh, we got stalled out a little bit offensively in that first half, but I really thought we were very efficient in the second half and really getting the shots that we wanted. The Mustangs got 16 points from Michael Lloyd. He shot better than 50% for the game, 7 of 13, 2 of 4 from the arc, and really he started the game off with those quick buckets and you never look back. Well, again, he's great in transition. He really does a great job pushing it. He can get it up to four quick, and he can really stop on a dime. I mean, and, and you saw him tonight. I mean, he really got to a spot where he can pull up and knock down shots. And it's just having that ability or a player that can get, that can do that and get early baskets at high percentage shots is really big for our basketball team. Well, the Mustangs also got something that the doctor has ordered, and you've been waiting for this night. Keontae Logan, 4 of 5 from the floor and 12 points total. I mean, he shot great from three, made a big time and one, was really solid defensively, help side and on the ball. I mean, he's he's been shooting the ball great, though. I believe over the last 10 games, he's shooting well over 40%, and he just continues to gain confidence at the three line. And then you had Dewan Plummer, who was 4-7 of seven and 3-4 of four from the arc himself. Yes, he, he shot the right shots, um, really did a great job penetrating and pulling up and, and just shooting the right ones. I mean, we shot 16-3 and I felt for the most part they were all really good shots. You know, I've talked a bunch before about thinking we're shooting too many threes, but if we shoot the right ones, we'll shoot at a high percentage. And, I mean, 50% from three is really good for us. You were 50% from the floor, 50% from three, and that included the uh, time when you let the bottom of the bench get into the ball game and, and some shots that were taken a little earlier than I think you really wanted to well, see. Well, it was a couple of them, and, you know, we got to do a better job of that. But other than that, I just really felt like, you know, we shot the right shots and and uh, you know to their credit they really do a good job of packing the pain and they're big underneath and we really you know worked worked it to halfway to late in the shot clock a lot of times and and got it uh, turned down a, a, a good shot for a great shot you battled inside against guys that are bigger you had the seven footer uh, in Incarnate word in Ian Markoff, and of yep. course Chris Johnson boards very well himself. Yep. He got, he did get nine boards, but still the big guys battled well inside. They did a pretty good job. I mean, we still gave up too many offensive rebounds. Fifteen is a lot of offensive rebounds, and Chris Johnson did a great job of getting in, and Sean Ume got in there and got a few, and uh, they they tipped the ball out of our hands on on uh, some rebounds, and you know we should have been better prepared for that. But other than that, I mean, I'm really pleased by the way we battled. I mean. We we forced the seven-footer to go one for seven because we played behind him and played really strong underneath and forced him to make shots. Chris Johnson's just a phenomenal player. I mean, he's really good at, at finishing, and, and he shoots it just well enough uh, for him to get by you and make some plays. So 23-9, that, that's uh, we didn't do a great job against him. He had an 11-point lead in the first half. It closed to four at the half, and then you came out with a nice run to start the second half and, and never really looked back. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, that second half, but we did it defensively. I mean, we held them to 21 points. Uh, they shot. 22% uh, from the field and 0 for 3 from 3 and you know we didn't foul them. I, I thought we really really did a good job of keeping guys in front without using our hands for the most part and making those guys make shots over strong hands. So uh, one of our best defensive nights uh, against a really good basketball team. Coach, now you get the long trip down to Kingsville and uh, to battle A&M Kingsville who's been playing very tough at home. Yeah, I mean they're just a really good basketball team. They got one of the best guards in the conference and again a, a forward that was on a national or a, a, a national tournament team a couple years ago uh, playing well their, their, their role guys know what they are and they just do a great job and it'll, it'll be a tough win down there now to go all the way down there and and play those guys I mean it's gonna be a tough road game for us like coach, any other road game is in the league well coach congratulations on a nice win the 19th thank win you. of the season looking for number 20 on absolutely, Saturday absolutely absolutely thank you so much thank we you. appreciate you Nelson Haggerty, the head coach of the Midwestern State Mustangs. We're going to break. We'll be back with more after this on Bob.